Good afternoon, everyone. This presentation introduced the contents and the expected learned outcomes of the course title Data Modeling for Urban Performance. What's the problem? City consume 70% of the world primary energy. They emit 70% of the greenhouse gases to atmosphere. We could say they are the number one responsible for global warming. Cities are also the place of heartbreaking inequalities and socioeconomic conflict. Today, 1 billion people live in slum conditions worldwide, and by 2050, the world expects to see at least 70% of its new urban population in informal settlements. But cities are also the powerful engine of our economy. On average, they produce 80% of the GDP of a country. We have the city as the most threatening agent to our future and our culture, and economy mostly depend on that. The good news is, when it comes to performance, not all the cities are the same. There are good cities, there are average cities, and there are bad cities. So if we learn the difference, come up with a relevant measure, and remodel our development, we can hope for a sustainable future. Cities are complex systems, whose morphological structure emerge from synergic integration between components and agents. As dynamic complex adaptive systems, their own structural transformation processes are largely unpredictable, due to the non-linear nature of the changes. Data modeling for urban performance introduces a model-based approach able to define through qualitative and quantitative representation the state of a city as a complex adaptive system or their environmental performance with a view to possible improvement scenarios. We should not alter a system without first understanding how it currently works. We need to take time to understand what we are dealing with as a system. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Often we just see the system's part and processes and don't understand how it all fits together or why we are really doing things. Here, at Data Modeling for Urban Performance, we aim to recognize the city as a complex adaptive system identify the role played by various subsystems, describe the structural characteristics of the city that affects its environmental performance, and investigate the extraordinary potential owned by data engineering and modeling technique for improving the environmental performance of urban systems. Our chief focus will be on modeling the city as currently as possible. The problem is that it is not that easy. We have learned that the city is not like most man-made systems. It is not like a computer, a coffee machine or a bicycle, where the relationship between parts, structure and performance are clear and straightforward. The city is a complex system. Everything in it is linked to everything else and the event happen at the same time. For dealing with such a sophisticated entity, we must expand our knowledge of it and to adopt an integrated multiscale and multidisciplinary approach. The contemporary progress of information technology has enabled the use of sophisticated machine learning and data mining algorithms to process incredibly large amount of data. So, the course presents how the application of data engineering and modeling techniques combined with sophisticated methodology for reading and transforming the built environment hold extraordinary potential for improving the environmental performance of urban systems. Specific tools belonging to different disciplines participated in this course as information and computer science and the complex system theory will be used for better understanding the urban problems. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to meet you at Data Modeling for Urban Performance for an amazing experience.